Hello everyone, this is Geetha Priya from RMB Engineering College. In this lecture, we'll be seeing about disk scheduling. So, disk scheduling is that uh, whatever the data you're going to store in the storage, uh, in our case, that is a disk storage management here. So, this would be called as a disk which is going to have an ARM assembler, ARM, and this cylindrical uh, plates will be called as a, a cylindrical plates is going to contain all the information or data you are going to store it. So, this spindle will be rotating and the cylinders will be rotating accordingly and this arm which is going to have a magnetic tape there which is going to read the data. So, this is how data will be read from the uh, disk. So, for this uh, reading data from the disk, we are going to have uh, six different algorithms. Uh, they are FCFS, SSDF, Scan, C Scan, Look and C Lookup. So, in this lecture, we will be covering the first two scheduling algorithms. So, the first one, uh, FCFS, first come, first serve. So, in this case, uh, when you are going to attend a problem in this scheduling algorithm, this is how the question will be given. The first thing they will be giving is a sequence, request sequence and the initial head position. So, initial head position is nothing but from which point you are going to start or from which point your arm is going to start rotating from. So, here you can see a black color magnetic tape here. So, this is the point where initially somewhere your disc arm should start from. So, this initial point will be given in the question itself and you are going to uh, track or travel accordingly. So, though it is a cylindrical format, uh, disc are the uh, cylindrical format, we will be having it in a straight line. So, how you are going to map this line means you are going to start from 0 and here you can see to the longest integer here, the longest integer, uh, highest number is 176. So, you can end with 199 here. So, from 0 to 199 you are going to have a scale. In that scale you are going to write all the sequence, request sequence given in the question in an increasing order. So, now the smallest value is 11 and then 34 and then 41. Similarly, 50, 60, 79, 92, 114 and 176. So, accordingly, you are going to write it here. And now, you are going to start traveling in the disk or this arm is going to rotate for reading the data from the disk. So, the initial point already they have given. So, you are going to start from 50. The algorithm here is first come, first serve. So, you have to see the request sequence here. So, whichever number has come first, that number should be uh, uh, visited first. So, starting from 50, the first thing after 50 you are going to visit is 7, 176. So, as per the sequence. After 176, the integer is 79. So, 176 to 178. So, this arrow mark must be there to indicate uh, by at which uh, number you are going to reside it. After 79, it is 34. So, 34 and then 60, then 92, then 11, 41 and 114. So, this is how you will be. Uh, working in first come first serve disk scheduling algorithm. Finally, you are going to calculate the total seek count that is nothing but you are going to minus from the so here in this example you can see 176 you don't want uh, 176 minus 50 that is you are starting from 50 you are reaching 176 but you will be minusing it in a reverse way so 176 minus 50 plus the next uh, seek time is 176 minus 79 and then 79 minus 34 then 60 minus 34 92 minus 60 that is from uh, large number you are going to minus the smaller one similarly you are going to calculate sum of everything and you will be calculating the total seek count so the next algorithm is shortest seek time first so, here uh, similarly to the first algorithm, they will be giving the request sequence and starting head position in the question. Now, similarly, you have to draw the scale from 0 to the highest integer, here 176. So, the last scale uh, maximum is 199 here. And similarly to the previous one, uh, you arrange all the numbers in an increasing order. So, initially, you are going to begin with 50. Here, how you will be traveling in the disk means shortest seek time first. Whichever time sequence or whichever uh, request sequence is nearer to the initial position. 50 is the initial one. So, now you are going to see which one is the shortest seek time. So, 50 it has to travel either to 41 or 60. Which one is 
smaller or shortest seek time means for 50 the shortest seek time is 41 so from 50 you are going to travel to 41 and from 41 you are going to check which is the shortest seek time either 34 or 60 so obviously we know the shortest seek time is 34 so from 34 it will be 11 and then 11 34 41 50 you don't want to visit again it is already visited so 11 to 60 and similarly you will be going to the till last one so 60 to 79 92 114 and 176 it is very simple here whichever request sequence is nearer to the uh, current position you are going to visit them first so that is called as the shortest seek time first and similarly you are going to calculate the total seek count this is 50 initially it started with 50 so 50 minus 41 41 minus 34 plus 34 minus 11 plus 60 minus 11 and similarly you are going to sum up everything and you will be getting the total seek time. So in this video we saw uh, first come first serve disk scheduling and shorter seek time first. In the next uh, uh, video we will see about scan, c scan and look scheduling algorithm. Thank you.